Hi guys and welcome back to another video today. You ever wondered how long a pop-up lasts in the water? Let's find out. Right, so what I've got here, I've got four Ronnie rigs. Obviously, I haven't gone over the top here. I've just got, obviously, the hook end and I've put a little um, shot on it. I was going to do putty, but I don't want to sort of waste it. So it's only just to help pin it to the bottom, so obviously the pop-up doesn't pop up. We got our tank, so we're going to use one twelve mil pop up. These have been sort of glugged or been sat in a liquid for a long time, and it is believed that anything you know, if you've got a pop up that's been glugged for ages, it affects the buoyancy. So we're trying that. We've got a fourteen mil mobs from Sticky. And then we've got um, Mad Baits pop-ups. I think they're about 15 now. So sort of just wanted to see how long they all last in the water. Um, so let's go ahead and have a look. So we've got our sticky 12 mil. Oh. Oh, that one hasn't even got a bloody bait screw on it. Don't worry, here's one I made earlier. <laughs> so let's just swap that over. Not sure why it hasn't got a bait screw on it. But we'll get rid of that one for the time being. Right, okay. There we go. New one done. So leave a comment in below what you think is going to last the longest. All right, there's one. So what I plan to do is I'll come back in an hour, then like three hours, and then sort of five hours and so on, and then we'll have again a look in the morning. Right, you see that you can see that's been glugged for quite a long time. So, poor oh, it smells nice. This was, yeah, look how sort of soft that is. I think it might just about pop up, but I'm not holding my breath on that. All right, that's that one done. All right, let's get the mobs. Go for the pastel yellow. Set them all sort of different colours, so to speak, so we can see which ones are which. Hopefully these shots on the bottom will just be enough to pin them down, but we can always alter that in a second. <coughs> then get a mad baits. Oh, that wicked white. Perfect. Obviously I've got two whites, but obviously one is a 12. Yeah, well, it's a 14 slash 15. I'm sure it's 15. So these are our test subjects. So let's put them in and let's have a look. Okay, right. Sticky's 12 mil. Sunk quite quickly, that. And it's just... It's sort of, it is a pop-up obviously, but it's acting a bit of a waftery. Because it's obviously, I think the hook bait's too small for the hook size. Right, we've got the glugged one. I'm surprised it's popping up actually, because that's been glugged for ages, so it has got some buoyancy to it. So right, we've got the sticky mulbs next. That was a bit of a slower sink rate. That's standing up very nicely. Right, we got the mad baits. Wow. That only just sunk. Let's get a closer look. So there we have the 12 mil. It's popping up just about. 
And then we've got the glugged one at the back. That's literally just popping up. Then we've got the mulbs, which is doing quite well. And then we've got uh, the mad baits in the back corner. Mad baits is showing as the sort of the stronger pop up at the moment. So what I'll do is we'll we'll give it an hour. We'll come back and have a look. And I'll give it a couple of hours. We'll come back, have a look, and then we'll sort of go a bit further along and look at you know tomorrow, etc. Just want to show you these ones again. So right, we'll go from the shot. It's literally just touching the water. That dropped quite quickly. All right. Then we'll go from the shot again, just touching the water. Definitely it's a bit slower at going down, isn't it? So, this is the pink, well, it's not the pink one we got from the tank, but it's from the same pot, so it's been glugged for a long time. So I was literally just wanted to see how far like the liquid has gone through the actual pop-up itself. I mean, quite soft inside. You see when I squeeze out the liquid inside, just literally where my nail was here. You go, see that it, you see the liquid there. So how how far it's actually gone through is but hard to tell because of the colour. Yeah, I reckon it's gone through quite a way. Yeah, again, look. Squeeze all that, can you see all the liquid? Yeah, look, look at all that. And this is this one from the same pot, so. Imagine there's sort of all the sort of saying this gosh could have been glugged for about a year i reckon but it's not a thick glug it's more of a waterier glug so might absorb it better if it's watery i don't know right guys one hour's up they've been in the water now for an hour they're all still looking quite good Mad Bates is all right. Mulbs is all right. Uh, the glugged one's all right. And uh, 12 mil's doing all right still. So we'll come back in three hours time and we'll see what it's doing then. So guys, we are back. Now they have been in the water for three hours. 12 mil looks all right still. The uh, glugged one seems to be bearing okay. The mulbs is alright. And the mad baits one is still alright so far. So this is three hours in. Right, I am going to do a sniff test. I didn't want to as such, so I didn't really want to disrupt the, the way they're sitting. But I'm sure you guys are going to ask whether or not they still smell. Just smell that one. Let's see how they drop, if it's changed or quicker. Right. This one's still got smell to it. Of its natural smell as well as the liquid I've put on it. Right, the mulbs. Just dabbing them off ever so slightly, just so I can actually smell them. Yes, still smells nice. Smell of um, love hearts.
yeah. The wicked whites, mad baits, pop ups. Still got a nice smell to it. So, I'm just going to move this 12mm one just away from the edge a little bit more. So, there we go. Still doing all right. The next check will be um, it's four o'clock now in the afternoon, obviously. Next check is at eight, so that will be in the water for seven hours then. So there we are. So guys, it's now been seven hours they've been sat in there. It all looks to be holding up quite well, actually. I'd say the 12 mil, 12 mil one's starting to lose its smell. That one still smells lovely. Oh, that's still strong as well. Still got some smell, but not quite as strong as the other uh, the other two. But there we go. That is seven hours. So the next bit, the next um, check will be in the morning. So I'll see you in a second. Good morning, guys. It's a new day. So now these have been in for nineteen hours. And as you can see, sort of mad baits and the mulbs and still doing fine. It looks like, if you look at the pink one, I'll get you a closer look in a minute. It's sort of almost starting to lift the hook up. So I'm wondering if it's getting a bit of buoyancy back somehow. I don't know how. But I'm sure that the hook was sat dead flat. Like the 12mm white one. can't really see it on the camera here but where like the pop-up is it's literally just bringing the hook up you just about see it there but they're all looking all right still got the buoyancy let's just see if they smell I mean sometimes I think we worry going oh it's not popping up anymore but obviously it is I think the little 12 mil krill doesn't smell like the krill. Just more sort of smell of just like a plain boily, weirdly. Right. Pink one. I'd say the natural smell of the actual pop up itself is coming through. And I think my liquids basically sort of come out of it now. Still smelling strong, the mulbs. Like I say, love hearts is what it reminds me of. Yeah, I smell easy. It smells easy. Just about the smell with the mad baits. Water's going a little bit murky. But I mean, personally, you're not gonna have your pop-up in the water for well I think it's been 19 hours now I mean what I tend to do is when I'm fishing is I'll reset all the rods just before I go to bed and then obviously I'll do it sort of first thing as I wake up in the morning usually so you're probably looking at I don't know seven eight nine hours I think at the most on a normal average but I'll see if I can keep this going and we'll see when they start the drop. So I'll come back in a few hours. But for you, be a few seconds. So guys, I've literally just renewed the water as it was getting very cloudy. 
But they're all, you can see they're all rocking a bit where I've just moved the tank. They're all doing well. Right, do the sniff test. This one's lost its krill smell. It just smells of sort of like, can't say dough, but like sort of just, I can't put my finger on what it smells like. It just smells sort of, maybe sort of like a bit like play doughy, but obviously, I don't know, it's hard to, it's sort of hard to say what it smells like. But basically it smells like a boilie with no, with no scent. So this one's still got smell. Mulbs, yeah, smells beautiful still, that one. All right, and then we got Mad Baits, the Wicked White. I'd say the smell's gone from the Wicked White. But, I can't remember what I said at the beginning of this now, but this is 24 hours in now. To be honest, I wouldn't leave my rig out there for 24 hours. I wouldn't personally, I mean, you guys might. Let me know in the comments if you do. Like I say, mine are in the water at the most overnight. You know, sort of eight, eight nine hours at the very most. But they're all still buoyant. Must admit, I was wait, as expecting sort of them just to drop down ever so slightly. Almost sort of like just sort of sitting there like that. But they're still quite quite buoyant which is good so what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna come back in a few hours now what I think I'm gonna do is we will come back tomorrow morning and then the morning after etc 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 and we'll see if they're still buoyant enough so we'll see you in a minute all right here they are guys 12 mil still popping up. The glugged one's still popping up just about. The um, mulbs is still doing fine. The mad baits are still doing fine. I'm not going to bother smelling anymore, to be honest. Because obviously, in my opinion, they would have been changed by now anyway. But... We're talking about 48 hours gone now. Dark outside. I forgot to do it this morning. It's a bit of a rush to get to work. So it's half 10 in the evening now. So nearly been in there for about, what, 49 hours, something silly like that. See, like I say, in my opinion, I would have put fresh on by now. But we'll see the next day, tomorrow morning, if I remember. See if they're still floating. Okay then guys, so it's day five, the 12 mil has now, um, looks like it's almost had it I think, well it might be still there, now the pink one has popped up strangely, which is very very odd, and obviously you've got the mulbs and then you've got the, the mad baits, so that is very strange, and I can assure you I have not changed it. So my glug must have leaked out now. And it's giving its buoyancy back, I'm guessing. It's the only thing I can think of. See, the water's gone a little bit murky. Look, can you see there's like a, I can see that, S slime is breaking down. Yeah, you can just see it's good, it's starting to break down like, pink, yeah. All the casings, well like, the outer skin on it is breaking down now, look. That's really weird because that's obviously gone to, um, Pop it up again. 
Like I say, it's about day five, I think. Today is Saturday, about five o'clock. There's the mobs. There's not so much of a skin on that one. I, I'm sure this one used to be sat up a little bit higher, like that. So I think it has lost a little bit of buoyancy. The mad baits. Mm, a little tiny bit, but not. it's not really skin, it's just sort of colour, if that makes sense. And that's day five. So that pink one was glugged with whiskey. So I'm wondering if all the whiskey has obviously leaked out of it now. It's been washed out and it's now given its buoyancy back. I don't know, it's all a little bit strange. Uh, yeah, there's not much. I think that sort of 12 mil pop up, it's now gone into a bit of a wafter, I think. But there we go, that's what's happening after five days. I might keep it going a little bit longer just to see if they actually do start to drop down. I don't know. But we'll carry on. So there we go then guys. It's seven days today. And they're all still popping up. So the answer to how long does a pop up last? More than seven days. In some instance, that pink one, all my sort of whiskey's seeped out of it and now it's back up floating. So, there we go. So you guys don't need to panic. Or oh, I better change the pop-up because it might not be popping up anymore. These have been there for seven days and they're still popping up. So there we go. I wouldn't worry too much. Right, it's been two weeks. You can see that they're really heavily breaking down. But they're still popping up. But there we go, I'll call that it. Slamming. This one's the uh, hardest, can't even... Ugh. Didn't even break that. So there we go. Still popping up after two weeks, but obviously after 24 hours I would, I'd be changing it anyway. So there you go. Seven days and they're still popping up. Um, to be fair, after 24 hours, the, the scent or the smell starts to fade. But again, personally, I probably wouldn't have it out there for 24 hours without refreshing it and making it smell a bit nicer anyway. But that's just my own preference. I hope it's given a bit of an insight. I hope it helps uh, so you don't have to panic that it's only float, you know, popping up for a couple of hours. It should be fine. So... Give it a thumbs up, leave a comment how long you leave yours in the water for before changing it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!